think what we're going to have to do is take these down and build a new rail. It won't be inexpensive, right? Well, guess what? What? I ain't like these anyway. Good. I think this is a great opportunity to make something custom, make something unique. Oh, they don't look too bad to me, those railings, <laughs> right? That was a clip of HGTV's Two Steps Home, a new series that follows John Pierre and Mary Chan Yupin as they help their Houston area clients sell, buy, and renovate. Yes, the couple joins us now with more on this new TV adventure, and they also have tips for anyone wanting to attract the highest price for their home. Welcome, guys, in studio. Yes. In person. Right. Right. You're, humans. You're real. <laughs> and thank you again. We have to say, because we talked to you earlier in the year, you are the only person who can say our last you name right. Oh, killing. really? Yeah, like, yeah, your first you're time. Sean your pin. There you go. <laughs> well, congrats on the show. Thank and you. so eight episodes, but are you still shooting right now? Sort of describe to us. And for people who haven't seen the show, give us the big picture of what the show is really all about. So we're pretty much done filming now, but um, but it has been a long. Uh, we have one more house that we're working on, yeah. which we'll hopefully finish here in the next couple of weeks. But uh, we've been working on it for almost a year, from mm -hmm. from the very first to the beginning. But yeah. the overall concept is we're helping people get their house ready to sell with smart um, really you know just to the point things that are going to put your house over the top in the market get it ready to sell put it on the market get it sold and then help them buy and renovate their dream home the house they're going to be in for a long time so, so a two-step process okay yeah. you know we, we get your house ready to sell for the market you take that profit hopefully, and then you put it into your, your dream home. Yeah. Everybody is talking about the hot market right now, yes. and it's time to sell your home if you can. When you talk about a full renovation, though, you're talking bedrooms, bathroom, kitchen, the whole, the paint, everything? The whole yeah, house. Yeah, for, mo for the most part, it's pretty much everything in the mm -hmm. house because we want to make people, the, the cool thing about the show is you get to see us really tailor make a house for them, mm -hmm. not just renovate something that's beautiful, but Mary does a fantastic job of getting the house for that family. Yeah. And that's really, really cool. So yeah. it's, it's, it's a personalizing, lot of fun. Yeah, personalizing it really that house to their needs. So you'll see that throughout the season. There are so many different stories, and it's all over Houston, which we love. Yeah. We get to showcase our beautiful city and all the surrounding areas. So yeah. really excited about that. The show is fun to watch. You are both so great on it. But I feel like sometimes these design shows, the average homeowner out there is like, oh my gosh, they make it look so easy. Yeah. And any sort of renovation project can be a massive headache so yeah. you both have three tips for us today if someone out there is thinking of listing their home mm -hmm. the ideal scenario is that you list the home you have multiple offers right, you right. sell it for top dollar so what are some simple ways we can do that um, while staying within our budget yeah, right? right yeah for sure yeah. I mean well you know being a realtor definitely the market is extremely hot right now um, but one of the things that we always try to tell people is spend your money smartly right mm -hmm. so like in a bathroom if you have one of those big 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 huge mirrors and it has a little ruffled edges around the side because it's been there forever yep. you can trim it out with something really cool which is something that we did in, in Adrian's house mm -hmm. um, and give that whole mirror a, a whole new life and yeah. that really helps yeah a curb appeal is really important as you know it's like that first impression that wow right off the gate right so instead of doing landscaping which is really expensive yeah. what I like to do is I go shop for clearance pots just would add a pop of color and just some pretty plants and then for your kitchen since we know that those are really high ticket you know areas yeah just hardware like just adding pop and adding to some shine your jewelry mm -hmm. you know your lighting like those are the things that really stand out you know when you're going to buy a house they just want a finished product yeah if you're going to sell yours is there one item that you should not have when you're staging your home uh, all the stuff. <laughs> like, pl please declutter your house. Please, we don't want to walk into your mess. We want to walk in and it feels, you know, just pretend like you don't live there. It's basically what people want to know. They don't want to walk in and be like, people live here. They want to walk in and pretend like the house is going to stay clean forever when we know we live in a house with two small children. Yes. Our house is not staged. It is Socks. very much lived in. Right. Okay, there are socks, Johns. <laughs> there are toys. There, are, You know what I mean? So when you're staging a house and getting it ready to sell, Declutter, please. Yeah, okay. That's All right. huge. That's huge. When, when people walk into your house, they're not walking into your house. They're walking into their dream, their mm -hmm. future. So if they see your stuff, 
that's a huge turnoff. Yeah. So decluttering is huge. Do you really leave your socks on the floor, John? All the time. Unfortunately, <laughs> I, I, countertop, you know, I, I literally. It's not just the socks. So. No, it's it's a lot of stuff. I, I, real life. I, it's real life. Real life. <laughs> it happens. Okay, so declutter, buy or sell, give away, donate, or yeah. even get yeah. a storage unit if you need to declutter. Absolutely. Um, what about making changes to like paint updates? Because mm -hmm. this is something. Design trends come and go, right? Yeah. But if you live in a home that maybe I don't know, you don't have the budget to update the countertops or the cabinetry, should yeah. you even go down the road of trying to paint things okay. yourself? Yeah. Well, I mean, as far as yourself, I, I, I would say if you can do it and if you had a time to do it, do it. Because right now, what people want, they still, neutral colors are still in as yeah. far as selling your house. Yeah. You know, when you, like our house literally is a bag of Skittles. It's a rainbow. It, we have, <laughs> I have colors all over my house. I don't care. I love it because I live there. But yeah. when it comes time to sell our house, which I will never sell my house, John, I don't care what you say. <laughs> okay. Then you can, you know, paint your house. Try to keep it all one neutral yeah. color that won't offend people. So so like this green, you can you can do that. Offended. Yeah, exactly. you know, just saying. You know, this I'm green. By this green wall. <laughs> they can be offended it's, by the colors, like oh, that's too much. But you know. Yeah, it's definitely one of those things where if you can paint, you definitely want to get to some sort of neutral color. If you can't, if you have a polka dotted wall, you definitely want to do something about the polka dotted wall. Okay. But you know, it's it's always better to keep things neutral, mm -hmm. grays, browns. Gray is really in. Tan um, beige. Yeah, yeah, tan beige, those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. But if not. Get rid of the polka dots, if you can do that. Okay. Get rid of the leopard. And polka dots, leopard, socks on the floor, we got it. <laughs> yes. This is my life in a nutshell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. John yeah. here, Mary Chan Yu Pin. It is great seeing you both. Glad to have you Thank in studio. You. Thank and you congrats so much. on the show. We'll yeah. Thank you so again. much. It's never yeah. enough time. I know. Never Thank enough time. you. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll have you back. We'll Thank you so much. Absolutely. Two Steps Home airs Wednesdays at 8 p.m. on HGTV. And for exclusive behind the scenes content for the show, we do have a link on the scene on. Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv. Oh, didn't want it to end. I know. I know. Okay, still ahead. <laughs>